So this is the accent and because I'm running it on word power, I'm on the new voice side. I'm going to show you how to do eye gaze for new voice and then we'll go over to go in power and see how to do it in power. At the moment, you're seeing that I have the pointer on, which is why you can see the white hand is moving where I'm looking, but it's not activating because the red box means that the eyes are paused. The red box shows you where your eyes are and the distance of your eyes between the device and your eyes. It needs to be between 18 and 22 inches. When you go into this toolbox and the access method, you can customize your eye gaze settings by going to calibration. You can choose the stimulus type. I like to set it to something that's a little bit moving and dancing for kids. I can choose my stimulus size for my calibration. I can choose if I want one eye or both eyes and how many points I want it to calibrate. So then I can say, okay, and calibrate now. And I'm just going to watch that dog. So because I said no to the image, it gave me three options for video, which I find is a little bit more attractive to our younger calibration users. It shows me that my dots are look pretty good. And I say, okay, when I'm on this side, I can now unpause my eyes and go. I want dog. I want dog. Did you notice that if I look up, I can pause my eyes and also if I look far over, I can pull this menu up and that can be good and that can be distracting. So the way to turn that off is to go to access method, eye gaze settings, off, screen settings and turn these off and then you'll notice those bars go away when you're in pointer settings you can have the highlight turn on or off you can show the cursor or take that hand away you can change the pointer color and you can change the size as well as the transparency one more thing is in you this is your dwell time so I have it at 0.8 and you're going to decide how long do you want them to have to hold still to make it speak and enough time for them to look at it and then move off of it if they, like. if they don't want it. Cookies. I like cookies. So that's how we do it on the new voice side. You can see your eyes in the box and you can make it active. I eat pretzels. Or you can pause the eyes. If you want to set it up for eye gaze, you're gonna go into the menu, toolbox, and the access method, and go into eye tracking. Now you can find your eyes, these dots help you get even so you're not, you're in the center of the screen. Under calibration settings, you can do a variety of settings, meaning you can calibrate one, two, five, or eight, left eye, both eyes, right eye only, and, and adjust the background for higher contrast if needed. Eye gaze settings, you can talk about dwell time, blinking, or switches, the dwell time, the repeat delay, and the repeat rate. You can have it stream, you can have it snap to the center, or do a little bit of both. And if it seems like you have a lot of movement and you need to reduce jitter, you can play with the smoothing setting. And... You can also set up eye control for windows here. So let's do calibrate now. Calibration complete, finished, and now you're set up to do eye gaze on the device.